Gold refining employs a variety of technologies which have been developed over thousands of years. One troy ounce of gold can now be extracted from 15,000 pounds of low-grade ore, and recycled gold accounts for around one-third of the world's supply. Refining processes employ hydrometallurgy and pyrometallurgy in a series of steps to separate, concentrate, and purify. The steps depend on the ore or scrap being processed, as well as the other materials being removed. The differences in physical and chemical properties of materials are used to separate them. Large-scale gold refining operations start with crushing and grinding the ore to liberate the gold from surrounding rock. The gold is then dissolved into solution in a process called leaching. Heap leaching is routinely used to remove gold from ore deposits and tailings. Vat leaching is most frequently used when removing gold from secondary or scrap materials, such as electronic scrap or even jewelry scrap. After leaching, solution concentration and purification steps, such as solvent extraction and ion exchange, are sometimes employed to further concentrate and separate the precious metals. The gold is then brought back to metallic form by either precipitation or electrolysis. Dissolved gold can be precipitated back to metallic gold with either copper or zinc powder, for example. A number of chemical compounds can also be used to precipitate the gold from the solution, including sulfur dioxide gas. The precipitated fine gold is referred to as gold sponge. Electrolysis is generally employed when separating and purifying gold from virtually all substrates. Electrolysis can plate out gold from leach solutions or be used to electro-refine low-grade or mixed alloy gold. Pyrometallurgy involves a variety of melting or other thermal treatment of ores to concentrate or extract metals. The Miller process is a widely used example of reactive gas refining. It was patented in 1867 and is still a very effective process for stripping out silver and base metal impurities from high-grade gold alloys such as doré produced by many mining operations and high-grade jewelry scrap. This is done by bubbling pure chlorine gas through molten gold, which reacts with the silver and base metals, forming chloride salts. These salts are insoluble in the molten gold and skim from the surface, leaving at minimum 98% pure gold. The purity expected at the end of the final refining processes is at minimum 99.95%. For specific purposes, whether banking and trading, or alloy or pharmaceutical manufacture, the purity level required may be as high as 5.9s plus.